Let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven. Along the valleys, the rapid mounding of the dead meant the slow creep from the rivers and swamps. It meant the coming of leather and murder. It meant the ancient, insatiable arrival of death. It meant the hissing and growling of monsters. It meant the slow, swavering crawl. It meant the thrashing tails, the clattering claws. It meant doom and oblivion. It meant the death of small children and fathers and mothers and family dogs, militiamen postured along alligator-free streets, smoking cigars and whistling at women, and most by now understood these positions as the foreshadowing of horror. And some veterans scoffed. They said they had seen bodies blown into pieces. They had known the death of a thousand, thousand men. They said, no lizard is going to put the scare to me. But a coldness grips the heart, the whole... The coldness grips the heart of even the sturdiest man when the yellow eyes frequent the night. When what has been the world becomes the insatiable ravaging of neighbors, the screams of children, the screeching of poodles and hounds, and the stinking timeless gullet is never stilled, it only ever approaches. So all men arm themselves, all men prepared and waited. And then rifle shots, the bodies of alligators slump limply in rolls of barbed wire on the lawns and in the streets. And the untold spill of blood, the wide milky eyes of alligators, and these bodies rotting in the streets hoisted from gas lamp poles, gutted and fly swarm, while gulls swooped and tore chunks of meat. And unpaid children devoured handfuls of rotting alligator from the streets, their blood smeared faces, while militiamen snickered and hooted across the way. And when the militias tired of observing, they flooded the streets with rifle fire and the screams of children stirring and dropping and writhing. And those who escaped joined their parents in shanty towns, their mothers and fathers asleep on dirt floors after long days shoveling alligator manure or hefting alligator hides or cutting open alligator at the leather factories. And through the night, while these families attempted sleep, came the crunching sounds as alligators devoured the bodies of unpaid children shot through the skulls and left decaying in the streets. And many cities and neighborhoods along the land became cities of alligators, the hundred, hundred bodies of alligators, their necks slung with chains and hanging from burned out gas lamps and flag poles and apartment windows, the picked clean carcasses of alligators, the skeletons and leathered corpses of alligators, swinging as gulls swooped and pecked at their pillaged bellies at the cockeyed flights of two fat gulls who snapped their necks and shattered their bills against brick walls, and the low crunching sounds as alligators devoured the broken corpses of fallen gulls, and alligators half climbed flagpoles poles and gas lamps to chew the swinging bodies of dead alligators while militiamen fired into the backs of their heads. And how still more alligators swaggered across the bond-lit streets, hissing. Um, I think there was an intermission or something. That's more information about the Asala. <laughs>